Chloe here. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about how I became spiritual, my spiritual journey. So let's get started. exactly how this video is going to go. It's just going to be a candid conversation with me just recalling what I feel like were significant events that led me to become a spiritual person. So way back when, in the timeline of my life, <laughs> as you guys know, I've been quite open with you about some of the harder times that I faced. And I would say when I was a child, it was when I first started to dabble in spirituality even not knowing what it was. When I was a child I was always very visual and I would play movies in my head, just daydream, daydream all the time. By doing that I was able to notice that the more and more that I was daydreaming, the more and more that I was visualizing, these events and these experiences would pop up in my life. I was learning or practicing the law of attraction at that time without knowing exactly what it was. I'll leave a video down below of how the law of attraction changed my life and that goes into more details and gives some specific examples of how I practiced it in my life and was uncovering what it actually was. But it was often times when I was younger and I was going through a hard time, like as a teenager, when I was not getting along with my mother or anything like this, I would go to my room or go somewhere, maybe go for a walk or something, and I would just try my best when I wasn't feeling good inside to visualize and visualize and visualize until it felt real and I was happy. Like I said, if something had happened with my mother and I was sad and I went to my room and I knew that I had to be my best friend, this is how I started to discover that. It's like I had to take care of myself in this world. I had to make a really good relationship with myself and the way that I started practicing that was by visualizing until I could harness the feelings. And in that way, if you're familiar with the law of attraction and energy and, and allowing things to manifest, is that I was seeding. I was trying to attach emotions to more positive thoughts, visions. I practiced that throughout my whole life. I still practice that. So I guess in some way, as a child, I was visually meditating, really trying to harness what I wanted to manifest in my life, whether that be positive relationships with others, friends, experiences, travel. Like I would just create movies great bubbles if you will and when I was 20 I have a video on this as well I'll leave everything down below if I just keep referencing things if something sparks you guys and you're like oh I want to know more about that or I feel like I'm interested in that so I have a video down below about backpacking Europe alone and a couple of my experiences doing so so when I was 20 I set out to go to Europe for the first time it was incredible. I spent a month with my family in Denmark and then I went traveling by myself, 20 years old. It was truly one of the most incredible times of my life. I really got to know myself better and I read this book which I've referenced a lot, Mind Power. I'm going to be linking it down below. If you guys have not read this book, it is an easy actionable read. I definitely recommend buying the physical copy. I've reread this book so many times. I revisit chapters all the time. It is my number one recommended law of attraction, spirituality, positive thinking book. If you haven't got it yet, this is your sign to go get it. <laughs> but anyway, so I was gifted that book by my dad's best friend who's very spiritual and very successful. And I always just appreciate his advice. So I read that book in Europe, I was backpacking around and I was just manifesting incredible things, incredible experiences. It was like all these movies that I made up in my mind, all these bubbles that I painted, they were just coming to fruition so fast, so, so fast. And I was loving this connection I was building with myself, getting myself in and out of different scenarios and just traveling and trusting and really allowing myself to be guided. It was truly incredible. And I had experiences, which I speak about in the video, just such synchronicities that presented themselves that I knew that I wasn't alone in this world and I knew that I was being guided and I knew that I was protected. I just knew. It was just this newfound trust that I had that everything was working out, everything is as it should be. I think the more and more that I, as I mentioned, the more and more that I've been working on building a relationship with myself, 
is directly influenced by like how spiritual I am and like how much I take in that's going on around me. These synchronicities, for example, that I spoke of. And I remember when I got back from Europe and I was just on such a cloud nine. As you know, if you go out, set out an adventure and it's just such a highlight reel, right? You go back and you're talking about your stories and you're just so inspired riding that high, having that post-travel glow on. And I went to a tea leaf reader and I had a pretty profound experience where she told me that my best of far, my grandfather, was guiding me and was protecting me through this entire trip. And she knew everything. At this point, I there was no YouTube. I mean, I wasn't really on Facebook too much. I was just studying in university and she knew things about my trip. She knew that I went on a trip. She knew all these things about me that like, she just wouldn't have known. I'd never seen her before. She just wouldn't have known this. And it was pretty incredible because I truly felt like she knew and I truly felt like through my travels that my grandfather's presence was there. And so it was very special for me and in that way I just, like I said, I trusted. I just had this spirituality to me now. My family is somewhat religious, but I've never really considered myself a religious person. And I know religion is kind of a touchy subject, so I'm not gonna to touch on it too much. I'm just going to explain how I've always looked at religion and spirituality. It's kind of like a buffet. <laughs> like all the self-improvement content that I consume, whether that be books, whether that be podcasts, whether that be YouTube videos, religion or passages or scripts, anything like that, that is in the spirituality religion realm. I look at it like a buffet. And I'm always open-minded. I'm always willing to learn and hear stories. I'm a quote junkie for sure. The way that I have taken in spirituality to my own life is I take a little bit from here, a little bit from there, whatever I feel like resonates with me. I've never been one to just go all in in one certain way, in one certain topic or aspect or belief. I always I'm open to change, open to growth, and in that way I'm open to just accepting all different types of self-improvement, guidance, spirituality into my life. Like there's been times when I was very strict on myself, meditating twice a day for 20 minutes a day with my guru's photo Alma there and my mala beads. And there's been times where I slept with multiple crystals under my pillow every night. I mean, there's a crystal under there right now. There's been times, like tonight, I'm gonna sage my apartment and I'm gonna have my own little night in with the universe, I like to call it, mentioned in Manifest Miracles. <laughs> but as, as I'm telling you guys, like I am just spiritual in many different ways. Whatever I feel like my body needs, it always goes back to other practices that I've had before, like meditating, like scripting, like writing my journal, doing my best to connect with my higher self. I, I do many different things. I've always done many different things. And like I said, I look at it like a buffet. I take what resonates with me and go with it and learn from it. And whatever interests me or I have curiosity towards, I, I keep pursuing and I go down that path a little bit. And I love it like that. I love being spiritual because it makes me a happier person each day when I feel like I'm not alone. I have myself, my higher self, and I also have you know the universe. This universe is so intricately designed, it's perfect. The universe is perfect. Sometimes you gotta wonder, and what I felt like when I started to become more spiritual is we are literally living in a dream. Like we are perfect humans. Like we have 10 fingers, we have hands, we have hair, we have eyes to see. There's many different colors. Like we are so blessed in so many different ways. And I think the more and more that you begin to understand and you go along the spiritual journey and you just have a greater appreciation for who you are, what you are, and the world that you're experiencing, you can't help but feel full of gratitude. You can't help but feel like, wow, this is a gift. This is a dream. Every day it's a, it's a dream. And I think the more and more that I have become spiritual, and obviously you guys know I, I've done ayahuasca now, and this year I'm going to go to a Vipassana meditation retreat. Like I said, I'm always learning and growing and interested in that. I am just striving each and every day to form this better relationship with myself. And like I said, I feel like the more close and understanding I am of my personal being, who Zoe is, the more and more spiritual the world is around me. And you know, I, I feel like the more and more abundance I receive. When you show the universe that you are grateful for everything that you have, 
then the universe rewards you. And I feel like that's been such a theme in my life. It's like, you know, being my own best friend, taking my risks and being rewarded. And I am just so grateful for that. So I wanted to share how I became spiritual with you guys and how I kind of look at it. I feel like a lot of you who are watching my channel, you are spiritual. I mean, that's where my self-improvement content's really kind of gone. I appreciate you for following along the journey. That's for sure, for watching me grow, watching me work on myself. I hope that if anything resonated with you or you can relate in the same way that, that I can to just having this beautiful buffet in front of us of all these teachers, of all this guidance and wisdom. We're truly blessed. I love my spirituality. It just brings me so much happiness in each and every day when I just trust, when I have a strong relationship with myself, I have a strong relationship with the universe, and that's when I'm rewarded. Anyways, enough on that. I'd, I'd like to share with you guys my spiritual awakening. So if you'd like to hear that story, let me know down below. A lot of us have heard or, or may have woken up or feel like we are awakening, and I think that that's a valuable story to share. So if you want to hear that, let me know down below. Anyways, I love you. Enough rambling from me. See you soon.